rocking a Star Wars shirt today. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Utah. It's sunny and 75, as you can clearly see. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the perfect lens, in my professional opinion. Or, professional opinion? Just opinion? I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's the best lens out there for me. Like, for what I do, this lens is perfect. It covers everything I need to do. So, today's video, I'm going to explain what lens it is, why I got it, what makes it so great, and I'll show you some dope photos that I got with it at the end of the video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Be sure to like the video down below, just smash that like button, subscribe, and then we'll get started right right now. Okay, so I got this lens. It's the, well, I guess before I tell you, like when I say this lens, I should probably tell you what lens it is for this to make sense. So rewind just a little quick, just back. I got the 24 to 240, but you know, 10 times, super, super big range. It goes from wide all the way to telephoto. Like this thing reaches everywhere I need it to be. And you're like, Zach, why did you get such a big lens? It's like, just get one that's like niche specific. You know, like if you're doing macro, get a macro lens. If you're doing landscapes, get a bigger, wider lens, you know, just get something that's like perfect for what you do. Well, here's the problem, Bucky, buddy old pal, buckaroo. Problem is that I shoot practically everything and anything. Like I'll shoot events. I shot a concert the other day, like unofficially. I was there and it was I was like I had my camera so like I'll just shoot this for fun and it was a good time. I shoot portraits of people, just like seniors or whatnot, or I shoot cars, I shoot landscapes, I literally shoot just about anything and everything. So when doing so, I need a lens that can go from being very, very wide to very close. And I'm just like, uh, why not just get this lens? Cause it's closer than my 50 mil can normally get. And it's a whole lot bigger than my kit lens, the 18 to 55 can get. So I'm like, this just makes sense to me cause it covers everywhere that I need. So who needs this lens? In my opinion, it falls under two groups. Two, those, those, those. The first group, beginners, right? If you are a beginning, if you're a beginner photographer and you have the money, I suggest you get this lens. Why? You're like Zach. This is a $900 lens. Why would you dump that if you're a beginning photographer? Well, if you can't afford it and it's not going to break the bank, I say you get it because it has such a big range. It'll allow you to try to shoot practically anything and everything and see what you like and what you don't like. And then from there, then you can be like, okay, I really like doing real estate. So let's get a 16 to 35 or something like that. But you'll know, you're like, this lens can cover everything. So you know what you like, what you don't like, and where you need to go next. What lens you need to get, what new body, camera body, whichever. This lens will help you figure out all that. And then afterwards, when you get your new lenses in that more niche area, you can still use this lens for that area because it has such a big range on it. So it's like 16 to 35, and then in a pinch, like you're like, oh, I forgot the lens or it's having problems, blah, blah, blah. Grab this one, just pop it on. You can go 24 to 35, you're still covered. Don't even worry about it, right? It's a good backup lens as well. The second group would be people like me who really enjoy shooting anything and everything. Like we'll shoot landscapes, portraits, wildlife, um, like events, like concerts or something, or just, just a big variety of things like that. This lens is perfect for that too, because again, it shoots such a wide range, you got all your bases covered. So it's like, it makes perfect sense to get these, get this lens if you do those things. Cause you're like, cover up everything. It's like a one and done lens. You don't need to worry about popping that one off, grabbing your 50, throwing the 50 on, snapping away, snap that one off, grab your 80, throw that on. You don't need to worry about that because it's all covered right here on this basic lens. Now, if you want like a, a better like f-stop or whatever, more some better bokeh, then you might want to, that's like a whole other thing. This one goes to four, but you could get, yeah, that's a whole other thing. But the, like just in general, this is a very good lens that you can't really hate on. Alrighty, so that's who this lens is like meant for, in my opinion. And that's like the things that it can do well and it covers and all that fun stuff. But now, 
wrapping things up here. End of the video is coming up. So I decided that I want to show you just how good this lens actually is out in the field, you know? Out in the dirt, the grind. You're just like running and gunning, you know? Just ra -da 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 -da. taking the shots, you know? How well does it handle? So, gonna show you some shots that I got. Talk about like the little, I'm gonna give you a little story time behind the shots, just because I think it's really cool to know like the like the thing from the shot, like the history or like the story of that shot. I find, I find the stories almost more interesting than the actual shot itself. So let's start with this first one right here, which is a bicycle. Yo, sick bicycle, am I right? Kind of, so this one, I was up on the university, just hanging out, doing my thing. Got the, I just got the new lens. I'm just taking shots left and right, you know, shooting whatever I think is interesting. Walk across the quad and I see this bike on the bike rack. I'm like, yo, that's a nice bike. Kind of reminds me of like California beach days, you know, just someone like riding their bike down the beach or something. I'm like, yo, that isn't a Utah thing. So take a photo of it. So I just turned my lens around. And whoop, I actually, I was probably about like, probably zoomed into about a hundred on this photo just because I, I was like, a little ways away from it and I was too lazy to walk up to it which in hindsight was a good thing because I think had I walked closer to it I wouldn't have gotten this nice of a shot I think it would have been worse so it's probably a good thing I was lazy at that point but anyway I got I snapped this shot thought it looked super dope and quick tip if a photo looks really good in camera chances are when you upload it to like your computer or your phone or something it's gonna look just that good if not better so, quick tip for you. Anyway, I saw this. I'm like, yo, that's gonna, that looks really good. I like it a lot. And then, so I threw it into Lightroom, tweaked it, brought the colors up, kind of. I did different editing styles. I copied this photo like five times, did like five different editing styles on it. This one was just my favorite, so that's why I'm showing you. If you want to see the other four, be sure to go follow me on Instagram at Zach Kig. Or it should be down below. I'll put it down below too, so you can just click that. Either one, go follow me, and you can see all of those, plus all of the other ones that I'm about to show you. So with that, let's move on to the second one. Number two, as you can see, some pretty dope balloons. Like these, okay, so the story behind this one, I was just walking, like, there's like a huge crowd of people, like probably two, three hundred, like a lot of people were like in this like giant line, they're like walking like from like, the top corner all the way down to like the bottom corner of campus. Like, I don't know why, but they were just going and there was just one big line. So I'm like, yo, wonder where they're going. So I just jumped in line with them and I'm just over there just shooting pictures of people walking around, you know, in this group. And I look up and I'm like, yo, is that a balloon I see? And it's like, yep, yeah, that is. So stopped like in the middle of the line and everyone just kind of went right around me and I zoomed in all the way and snap this photo. And I think it looks pretty dang good. Like, it's just so simple and basic. We got like the balloons and just like a nice clean backdrop. Like, it doesn't look like a sky, but it is a sky and it's just clean. And I find it really nice. Just basic and nice. Sometimes that's all a photo needs, just a little basic. Because if you try and get too technical with it, 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 it looks good, yeah, but it takes a lot of time and effort and you got to be very specific with what you do and this was just like oh hey balloon snap yo that looks really good so sometimes you just got to take the photo and not wait for the perfect setup or perfect lighting or blah 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 like this was shot like probably like an hour before sunset so the sun was on its way down wasn't quite golden hour yet but it's it still looks good and also if you want to see these photos i post them in like sections so like the, the bikes, I'll have like five edits, different edits of the bike in one post. And the next post will be like five different edits of these balloons and so on and so forth. So if you guys find that interesting, you know what to do. So let's go on to the third photo now. There's only going to be four photos. So we're almost done. Keep it up. You guys stay with me. Love you guys. So three. So this third one, super dope. I really like it. You know, she's like, you can see her just like up there in the window, just sitting down working on stuff. I was, this was actually just after I shot the balloons. I followed like the little crowd line thingy down closer to like the quad 
we were about like almost there. There's like this big old sidewalk with like buildings lining it. And like this building was at one end and then the other end there's other stuff. So I was walking, you know, and the sun was like just above the mountains, just blasting on this building. And I'm like, I'm walking into the sun so I can't see a thing. And so I'm just like, I'm going to turn around and walk the other way. So I turn around and I just see this big building of glass. I'm like, yo, that's a cool shot. And then I look up on like the third or fourth floor. There's like this girl just sitting up there doing her homework, right? You can see her right somewhere, somewhere. You can see her. Anyway, I saw that. I'm like, yo, that would be a cool black and white shot. Like, I don't know what it is, but anytime I see a black and white shot, like photo, I'm like instant like, like, I don't even care what it's of. Like if it is a, just a well set up black and white photo, I love it. And so when I saw this, I'm like, yo, this is like a perfect black and white shot. Like I couldn't have done anything to make this photo better. So I'm like, I have to get this. So I just like backed up a little bit, zoomed in to like a hundred or something and just went snap, snap, snap and got this photo. I'm just like, yo, looks really good. So I put it into Lightroom, kind of cropped the edges. As you can see, I kind of just cleaned things up around the corners, but I didn't really do a whole lot with it. I just kind of brought it in just a little bit. So the focus is more on the girl and less on the building. And that's the story behind this one. And so let's move on to the last and final photo that I'll be showing you here. And then you can see the rest on Instagram, but that way. Whoa, what a surprise. It's also black and white. Who, who would have guessed? So this one, it was more of like, I was impressed with myself for getting this shot. Not because like it was technical or anything fancy about it. The impressive part was this was on the quad. So after I took a build picture of the building and the girl, I was I made it to the quad and I saw this person and I took a picture of them. And the impressive thing about this was the quad was like full of like booths and clubs and like a bunch of activities for all the college kids because like welcome back to, to the school and all that stuff. So they're having all this fun stuff. And the fact that I was able to get this shot and I didn't need to edit out, like I didn't need to Photoshop anybody out. Like it was just a clean shot all the way across. And I'm like, yo, if I don't get this shot now, I'm probably never going to get it. And like, so I'm just like whipped that camera around my neck and just started firing away. And luckily I was able to get this one. There was um, like up here, I cropped it out cause I don't, I didn't think it looked very good, but there was like a whole parking lot up here. So I just cropped it down. That's the only thing I did to it. So I'm like only crop being down just like that top part just a little bit to get out like a few cars that is pretty impressive in, in my opinion i think i'm rather proud of that to be honest and just like that you made it to the end of the video congratulations so got a few things first like this video just smash that button comment something i don't know like comment comment your favorite photo which one was your favorite was it a black and white was it a color one which one let me know and also subscribe. We made it to like 60, 63 subscribers now. We are climbing. We are going to the moon, guys. Thanks for all the support. I love making these videos. I know you guys like watching them because I've been watching my views on like my thingy and it just, it's going up like crazy. And like, I love these videos. You guys love these videos. It's a perfect match. It's like Tinder, you know, just, just fits perfectly. I don't know, does anything good come out of Tinder? I don't know. I've never, never used it. Anyway, with that, we'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what it will be, but it will be soon. I promise. Peace out. See you guys later.